Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. Uh, sorry for not recording so for so long, uh, but yeah. Uh, so today we are going to learn uh, about how to render a list of players. Uh, that's going to be basically an array of players, and we are going to render it inside our dummy component. Uh, by the way, uh, you might be wondering why I'm just returning this anonymous function. Uh, basically, uh, we are returning in JSX. Just to repeat again. And uh, we are going to learn more about <coughs> smart components and dummy components in future videos. And as well, we are going to uh, learn React uh, with the class as class. Uh, but not now, but in next videos. So, but just for now, let's just rename this to an app just to make it look like more uh, kind of an app. <coughs> so, I'm just going to rename this over here again. And uh, as you know, uh, I'm getting this ID uh, app from this HTML over here. Okay, so uh, this is just rendering title. Uh, what I need to do uh, is I need to render a list of uh, array. So what I mean by that is uh, um, we will be having an array somewhere outside and uh, that array can be here uh, for now it is an array but uh, in next videos we are going to render this array from our meteor database so we have to loop through each player and we have to render the score and name over here so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm simply going to write uh, two more co dummy components so one component is actual player and the other component is going to be uh, dealing with rendering or maybe mapping through this array of players. So the players list, uh, before writing a players list, I'm going to write a player first. So let's just do that. Uh, by the way, this also can be a constant. So constant uh, player and this player is uh, just going to receive certain props and simple this is going to be an, again an anonymous function which returns a jsx so i'm going to return in jsx this is going to be an ally because i'm going to loop through all allies and uh, what it receives is just a name so the props will receive props dot name that's it and uh, do I need anything else all right that's fine by the way we can just write this in a single line as well so I'll just take this up over here and since we are just returning one line of code uh, this is good enough that's it and just give it a semicolon and that should be enough uh, just to see if it is working fine what I'm going to do is uh, after this p tag I'm just going to pass a player like this slash and I'm going to pass it props call name and the name is going to be um, Ajinkya Okay, and let's see how it looks. Okay, I messed up somewhere. So it says props is not defined. I forgot to pass props. Save and reload. All right, you can see it's working fine. I'll just remove this guy. And if you inspect this, you can see just an ally. So this is just an ally. <coughs> So we are going to loop this uh, via a list, players list. <coughs> so let's just write another constant uh, that is going to be a players list. And players list is actually uh, again a dummy component which uh, consumes players array which is over here. So let's just do that. Hmm. So this is just going to be an anonymous function again. 
and we are going to return a new array uh, this is going to be interesting for you so so we have this players players i'm going to map each of this single row with a jsx content so what i mean by that is i'm going to wrap this uh, so basically this will get converted into something like this li slash li and we'll have our ajinkya over here like this so each of this and then also we'll surround this by a, a score uh, 10 then again this guy will be like this actually sejal is a girl's name eight so we are going to map each and every of these elements okay so players dot map this is the actual uh, map method of an array so we get each single player uh, we'll just call it a p and we are going to map this each of the p's over here so we're going to return it players right the li which i which i just mentioned that is going to be a jsx we already have that player right so this component i'm going to utilize over here in the return simply uh, map it with a parenthesis i always uh, prefer this parenthesis it's safe all right uh, we are going to map the user so there is this player each player so it is like this so we have to pass a name which is p dot name then again i have to pass the score which is okay by the way score i have not included over here i'll just quickly add it okay so we have this score over here uh score is going to be p dot score all right let's see how it looks so i'm going to render this list of players I'll remove this I'm going to map it inside a UN. We are already consuming the array and we don't have to pass anything to this. I just refresh and you can see it works. But there is an error. So it says uh, each key child uh, should have, iterator should have a key property. So what it means by that is uh, whenever this is rendering uh, React render, uh, the looping mechanism of React needs some identification. So the key is called key so we are going to pass key um, so we are going to map with the user id yes we have an id over here so we're going to tell it that uh, please uh, uh, track each of these elements by its id okay let's refresh p dot id all right it works fine there are no errors anymore uh, but there is still a scope for refactoring uh, rather than passing all this every time let's in our case uh, we have only two properties but uh, when you are dealing with the real world application you might be having more properties so in that scenario this is really bad so there is <coughs> sorry there is a very simple way uh, this is called spreading so we are going to spread the p whatever p will have we are going to spread it over here so you can read more about spread operator on mozilla developer network okay so that's it uh, it still renders fine there's not going to be any change okay and uh, that's it from this video uh, in the next video when we return uh, i'm going to show you uh, how we are actually going to uh, insert this into our meteor database and once we have inserted this into meteor we are going to connect to meteor database and we are going to load this data from meteor database all right see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you